So, we're here with the new iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus and we're going to talk about live photos today. So what are live photos? Uh, live photos are like the moving pictures you see in the Harry Potter movies, you know, on the newspapers. Uh, they move around. Live photos are kind of like movies, um, but the thing about live photos is you actually get the photo as well as the movie. What happens is when you press the shutter button to take the photograph, it saves the video 1.5 seconds before the photo and 1.5 seconds after the video. So you end up with both a photo and a video. And what happens is when you go to see your photo in the uh, Photos app, you can press down and hold the photo and it plays the video. Well, it turns out that taking nice live photos is a different skill from taking nice stills because you're going to be taking video as well as photos. So here are a few tips to help you get started. So the first tip we have is don't move the iPhone. You know, because um, what we're used to doing is take a photograph and then bring it back down to look at it. But if you do that right, you end up with a lot of live photos of your feet at the end basically. So don't move the iPhone two seconds before and two seconds after your shot. Second tip is to look nice before the shot. Now, so what you want to do with live photos is you want to look nice just before the shot, smile, take the photo, keep smiling, and then wait two seconds after. So you end up with a really nice video instead of a really retarded video. So the iPhone actually helps you to take nicer live photos. It reminds you that you're actually taking a live photo when you press the shutter button. There's a live icon that appears. And as long as the icon is there, video is still being recorded. Whenever you shoot a live photo, just look nice for the few seconds that the live icon is still there. That's the really neat thing about live photos is that you can set them as your wallpaper too. Now, all you need to do is go to your settings, go to wallpaper, choose a new wallpaper, and you go to your camera roll. When you go to your camera roll, you can see a whole bunch of your photos. If one of them is a live photo, click on it, and you see an option for live photo, just choose the live photo, press set, set lock screen. It only works on the lock screen. And now when you're on your lock screen, you can actually press down on the lock screen and it starts playing the live photo. That's actually pretty neat. So what happens when you end up with a live photo that you don't really like, uh, you don't want to keep the video, but you still want to keep the photo just in case? Well, you can delete the video part of it. It's not actually very intuitive, but you can do it by going to the camera app tapping that photograph, pressing edit, and in the screen that follows, there'll be a little blue icon on the top left. Tap that little blue icon so that it becomes white. Tap done. It actually deletes away the video to end up with the still photograph. Now, live photos is on by default. Uh, maybe you don't want to shoot live photos of everything. Uh, and that's a really easy way to turn it off. There's a little yellow circle on the top of your camera app. All you need to do is tap it so that it becomes white and your iPhone tells you that live photos is off. We really like live photos, but there's a reason why you might want to shoot off. A live photo is actually a movie file and a still photo. So it takes up about twice the storage space of a normal photo. If you want to save on a storage space or there's certain things you want to shoot like your receipts that aren't that very important, you can just turn it off. So only the new iPhones can take live photos, but older iPhones can also see them. So if you want to share a live photo, it's as simple as going to your Photos app, and tapping on a photo that you want, pressing the share sheet and just sending a live photo over on messages. Now a live photo is twice the size of a photo. So if you want to save your data and you don't want to send you just want to send a photograph and not the entire live photograph, you can press that live icon on the top of this and when it says off, you're sending only the JPEG. Now on the older phone, when you receive it in messages, you see a still photograph and it looks like you just got a still. But if you press and hold, two, one, jump. It, play, it plays the entire live photo. Yeah, so that's quite nice. So that's it from us about live photos on the new iPhones. Um, we really like the feature. It's really nice. Uh, it's Friday today, so I am going off. <laughs>